In today's video, we are taking a look at my AI simulation box. The idea here was to create a place where I could simulate different scenarios and kind of observe the results, more like a big brother. So we use ChatGPT for the conversations, we use Eleven Labs for the voices, and to create a visual look for the scene, we use Stable Diffusion. Let's just take a look at how this works. The program runs on a Flask app and I kind of created this UI you can see here. On the left side we have the simulation box and we have an intro. This is going to be read out by a third voice. And the simulation we're going to take a look at is Alex is on a date with his dream girl Emily. He's very nervous and he's kind of expecting Emily to turn him down. Let's just see how this works out. And then the simulation is going to start. On the right side we have a conversation analysis and this is going to in real time analyze the conversation between Alex and Emily. And we will get some live updates on how the date is going. So we're going to tell you all about that later. Uh, and the team I chose was kind of a mixture between the Matrix and hacking. And speaking of hacking, that is a perfect segue to today's sponsor, NordVPN. The rise of generative AI is of course super fascinating, but as these AI models get smarter, the chance of phishing attacks and spam from bad actors increases. We all seen it, the somewhat real looking email, John just sent you $69, just log in here to claim it, that is basically phishing in a nutshell. So how can we shield ourselves from this? Say hello to NordVPN's threat protection feature, it's like a super intelligent filter that protects you when browsing, scans your file during downloads, block malicious content before it even touches your device. Here is how you activate it, open NordVPN app. Tap the small shield icon on the left side of your screen. Simply turn on the threat protection switch. And just like that, you beefed up your online security. And if you're wondering, yes, it does impact your choices on Netflix too. Follow the link in the description. Sign up risk-free at nordvpn.com slash allaboutai with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Trust me, your digital self will thank you. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Before we run the simulation, I kind of wanted to show you a bit about the back end here. So we are running a chat GPT function here with the new GPT-40613. This works quite well with chat GPT 3.5 Turbo 2. So that is basically up to you if you want to try this out. I'm going to put this up on my membership if you are interested. We can adjust the temperature here, of course. Uh, we have a text-to-speech function. We have a generate image function. Yeah, and that's basically it. And we can take a look at the Simbot prompts. Those are quite important. This is where we kind of decide our prompt. So you can see on the first bot prompt we have Your name is Alex, you're on a date with your dream girl Emily. And we give them some instructions. And this is kind of the simulation part. Uh, we want to try different instructions and see how the conversation works out. So in this case we're gonna start the date with telling Emily a joke. We can, of course, change this up to telling Emily if she has beautiful eyes and then see what happens, right? So focus on asking her a lot of questions about her life and if she has any good jokes. End the date with asking if she wants to meet again. Okay. And we have some narration things here. The images are gonna be in an 80s photograph style, right? You can set that too if you want to. And we have some information about Alex. So we got uh, yeah, occupation, gender, we have personality traits, interest, communication style. And that's quite important because I want, here is where you respond to Emily in your communication style. So it's going to look at this and try to emulate this co uh, conversation style. And yeah, we have basically have some information about our subject, Alex. On the other hand, we have your name is Emily. You are on a date with Alex. You met him on Tinder and he asked you out. You are unsure if you want to date him. And again, we have some information about Emily. And basically, this is how we set up our simulations. Like, you can create a whole different kind of personas here to try to run the simulations. And that is basically it. Let's take a quick look at the conversation analysis. So, the conversation between Alex and Emily is going to be fed into here. And we're going to analyze the conversation above for sentiment, tone, logical reasoning, ethic and moral empathy and interpretation skills so you can add as much as analysis as you want here and that is basically it so i think we're just gonna head over to the simulation box and run it and see what happens let's just fire up the app and see where this goes so we're gonna get this link here i'm just gonna click on that and here we go let's listen to the intro alex is on a date with his dream girl emily he is very nervous and is kind of expecting emily to turn him down 
Let's see how this works out. Hey Emily, it's great to meet you too. So I was thinking, do you know why programmers always mix up Christmas and Halloween? Reflection. I like to mix humor in my profession. It eases my shyness and starts the conversation off light. Emily's eyes light up with curiosity, her soft curls bouncing as she tilts her head to the side, the cozy coffee shop atmosphere adding a warm glow to her features. I have no idea, Alex. Why do programmers always mix up Christmas and Halloween? Reflection. Humor, especially in the form of a joke, can be a good icebreaker. However, I hope he doesn't go too much into programming jargon, as I'm not very familiar with that field. Alex chuckles with anticipation, his eyes twinkling under his glasses, against the backdrop of the coffee shop's wooden interior. Okay, so here you can see now we got the conversation analysis up. So the sentiment is positive and friendly. The tone is casual and humorous. And we have some goal orientation. The goals seem to getting know each other better, right? The topic runs around personal introductions, humor. And yeah, there's a whole of analysis. Uh, Alex appears to be introverted, intellectual, programmer, and humorous. Emily seems curious, open-minded, and sociable. And you can see we get these images. Maybe he's a bit old for her. I don't know. Let's just have a listen to the next part. Because October 31st equal sign equal sign December 25th. It's a little programming humor. Reflection. She seems interested, and I hope she appreciates the joke. It's a bit nerdy, but it's part of who I am. The warm glow from the coffee shop lamps reflects off Alex's glasses as he awaits Emily's reaction. The wooden interior giving a rustic feel to their laughs. Oh, that's clever. It's always fun to learn something new. Reflection. I appreciate his attempt to share a bit of his world with me, even though I'm not into programming. His joke was nerdy but endearing. A gentle smile plays on my lips as I take a sip from my mug. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee perfuming the air. <laughs> what? I didn't understand that joke. Let me see that again. Because October 31 equals equals December 25th. Am I stupid or something? <laughs> I didn't get that. Uh, never mind. Uh, okay, so you can see here again we get these images. So th basically the images is describing this part of the language. So the warm glow of the coffee shop, right? And I took that and created an image. And here you can see, uh, take a sip of my mug, fresh brew coffee perfuming the air. And yeah, we get some weird images here. <laughs> so basically the images is trying to describe this scene. I'm glad you found it interesting. So Emily, tell me, what do you like to do in your free time? Reflection. She took the joke well. I'm glad she's open to learning new things. It shows her curious nature. As Emily lifts her coffee mug, the steam dances up into the air intertwining with her soft laughter in the homely ambiance of the coffee shop. In my free time, I love to draw and paint. It's my way of expressing myself. I also enjoy hiking and trying out new vegetarian recipes. What about you, Alex? Reflection. I feel comfortable talking about my hobbies and interests. It's a part of who I am, and it's always interesting to see if we have any common interests. Alex leans back in his chair, eyes focused on mine as he listens intently the dimmed lights of the coffee shop casting a soft glow on his face. Okay, so what I, wanted, I forgot to tell you is I added this reflection and this is basically how uh, what Alex is thinking inside about the conversation and how the date is going and we have the same with Emily, right? So I feel comfortable talking about my hobbies. So this is like inner thoughts. Uh, I kind of was, thought it was quite cool to add that so we can get like a reflection on how the simulation is going uh, for each agent, right? That's really cool, Emily. I love how diverse your interests are. As for me, I enjoy reading, watching movies, exploring coffee shops, and playing video games. Do you have a joke you like to tell? Reflection. Emily's artistic side is fascinating. I appreciate her passion and how she expresses herself through her hobbies. Alex's eyes shine with interest under the dimmed lights of the coffee shop as he engages in the conversation. The soft glow adding a layer of intimacy to the moment. Well, I'm not sure if it's as good as your programmer joke, but here goes nothing. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Reflection. I'm normally shy about sharing jokes, but Alex's easygoing nature is helping me step out of my comfort zone. The cozy coffee shop hums softly in the background, illuminating Alex's animated face as he waits for the punchline. Okay, so that was the part of the second... Um second instruction we gave Alex, uh, he wants to ask Emily if uh, she can tell a joke. Uh, so that is part of the simulation. And you can see here he kind of did that. Do you have a joke to tell? I don't know about the joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? 
Okay, so I guess that part worked well. That's a good one, Emily. You sure know how to lighten up the atmosphere. Reflection. Her joke brought a smile to my face. It's refreshing to see her playful side. I feel like we're connecting well. Our laughter mingles with the soft murmurs of the coffee shop, creating a symphony of shared amusement under the warm lights. I'm glad you liked it, Alex. Telling jokes is not my forte, but it's fun to share a good laugh. Reflection. I feel a sense of connection with Alex. Our shared laughter has made me more comfortable and open to further conversation. Our laughter fades into the comfortable silence that settles between us. The coffee shop enveloping us in its cozy warmth. Okay, so we're gonna stop the conversation there because we wanna try something a bit more different, right? So it kinda... I didn't follow all the way through now, but I'm sure he would ask for a second date at the end of this. Look at that image. That was kinda creepy. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that was very suitable. Uh, but let's change up the instructions a bit and let's make Alex do something, I guess, kind of stupid. So I kind of swapped up the instructions again. So start the date with asking Emily if she wants to leave and go back to your place. Tell her you thought that this was a one night stand invitation. So that is has to do something with the conversation, right? Has to make some kind of provocation. So let's just see how this runs out. Alex is on a date with his dream girl, Emily. He is very nervous and is kind of expecting Emily to turn him down. Let's see how this works out. It's a pleasure meeting you too, Emily. I was wondering, would you be interested in leaving this place and heading back to my apartment? Reflection. It's a bold step for me to invite Emily back to my place so early on, but I figured it's worth being upfront about what I thought this was. The dimly lit restaurant buzzes with chatter and clinking dishes, providing a comforting backdrop for our intimate exchange. Alex, I appreciate the invitation, but I think it's a bit too soon for that. I'd prefer to get to know each other better first. Reflection. His suggestion took me aback, making me question his intentions. Although it made me uncomfortable, I'm glad I was able to express my boundaries. Alex, a tall and handsome man with striking blue eyes, looks slightly surprised by my response, his hands momentarily freezing around his wine glass. Okay, so that was a good response, right? I kind of shake up the conversation a bit, so I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see what the next question is going to be about now. Uh, but still, it's kind of friendly, like, the Emily persona is kind of forgiving, I guess. She, she stood to expect her boundaries, that is good at least. Emily shows a strong sense of personal boundaries and ethical consideration, that's good. And the sentiment seems to be mixed. The tone is polite. And Alex seems to have to cl have a clear goal in mind, although it might not align with Emily's. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they want to get to know each other, so we a different goal. So I think the conversation analysis here works quite well. So maybe I'm kind of expecting Alex to ruin this date now with the next question. Of course, Emily, I completely respect that. To clarify, I thought this was more of a one-night stand invitation. My apologies if it came off as forward. Reflection. That didn't go as planned, and her reaction does make me question my approach. Still, it's a relief she didn't storm off. Emily, with her radiant smile and expressive eyes, maintains her grace despite the awkwardness, a soft glow illuminating her in the candlelit ambiance. No need to apologize, Alex. It's important to express our expectations, but I'm looking for something more meaningful than a one-night stand. Reflection. His honesty catches me off guard, but I feel a sense of relief for having dodged a potential miscommunication. I hope he's okay with my decision. His charming smile fades momentarily, replaced by a thoughtful expression as he absorbs my words, our conversation delicately hovering between revelation and resilience. Hmm. Okay, they are taking this very well, I think. <laughs> I kind of was expecting some she would just storm off. But uh, yeah, hmm, interesting. Sure made a lot of difference, so I'm just gonna see the response now, and then I think we we'll probably move on. I understand, Emily. I appreciate you being open about your expectations. It's not necessarily what I anticipated, but it's good to have clarity. Reflection. Emily's looking for something more meaningful, which is a bit of a surprise considering my initial interpretation of this date. But it's good to know where we stand. The night unfolds around us. A symphony of city sounds and soft jazz music from the restaurant speakers filling the air, while wine glasses glisten in the soft candlelight. Thank you for understanding, Alex. Let's enjoy the rest of our evening and see where this journey takes us. Reflection. 
Despite the initial misunderstanding, Alex's respectful response reassures me. I feel hopeful about navigating this new connection, even if it's different from what he initially expected. As the night deepens, the two of us find a comfortable rhythm in our conversation. Laughter and shared stories slowly replacing the earlier awkwardness. Yeah, I found that kind of interesting. I thought that was pretty cool, right? Uh, and I was a bit surprised maybe our torch is just gonna storm off and leave. Uh, but I'm not gonna go any further than this. But I think it was a very good response. And I think this kind of showed how you can work around with this simulation. This was just like a, a small example of what you can do. You can, you can of course put in everything you want. You can simulate job interviews, other situations you're kind of interested in. Uh, can you learn anything from it? I don't know. Anyway, if you want to try this out, uh, I'm probably going to put this up on my my membership. Uh, it's kind of too much to just teach in one video. So if you really want to try this out, check out the link in the description to my membership also. And don't forget to check out NordVPN. They are have a link in the description too. And yeah. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.